Hi, I'm the Gamer Who Code, and today I'm gonna make a presentation of Dangerous Dave. It is DOS game made by John Romero, and I found a, a, a Godot clone of this game. So in this video, I'm gonna make an uh, explanation about an introduction to the code and a little of gameplay. So let's begin. So my idea was actually to play uh, Dangerous Dave again and try to make a tutorial uh, out of it for the Godot engine. And my surprise was that actually somebody else have, has done the job. And let me show you Dangerous Dave. Actually, uh, the guy name is uh, Pale Digger. Okay, you can find his uh, website on itch where you can download the game and actually you can have the source code on Git. Okay, so the god has done a pretty good job. Okay, and uh, you can actually play the original game on uh, the Internet Archive, where you have the original DOS game. Actually, uh, Dangerous Dave was a DOS game made by John Romero, uh, if you know the game. And it was one of my best times uh, in, in gaming, uh, when I played a lot of hours on it, it was really uh, fun for me. So, uh, uh, I started working on Godot about six months ago, and my idea was to try to uh, get my hand on uh, developing a clone of Dangerous Dave, like I said, but actually someone else has done the job. So, I done a search for that, uh, with the Dangerous Dave God remake. And I found Dangerous Dave and Hunted Mansion, which, which was not the one I was looking for. And finally, on the second search, I, uh, I found Dangerous Dave by Pale Diga. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. And uh, I actually got to his site and downloaded the game, like I said. So you can download the code right here. You can download the zip to your file system and decompress the file and get Dangerous Dave project right here like I've done so, and you open the project by opening the project.godot. So, um, but before, before that, it's important to notice that um, I made some uh, changes on the code to meet the original gameplay, because uh, I, it was uh, too speedy for me, and um, it doesn't really uh, grasp the original gameplay of the game, so I, I made the change to the kinematic body 2D to the player, where you can find it here. And I started by changing the code by modifying the speed and the run speed to have something similar to the original gameplay. When you when you download the game uh, in your system, you can find that these uh, values have been changed and you can uh, check this uh, uh, on my um, uh, on my code and th this this was the only changes i made to the to the code okay just uh, working on the speed and um, the gravity the run speed to have uh, like i said a gameplay with this similar to the uh, to the original game and uh, if you come to the 2D, um, 2D we have the levels yeah, so you have we have the first one and um, you can find it right here, level 1, okay? All the levels have been made right here. And we found a prefab uh, folder where you can find all the um, objects of the game, example, the, the background, the brick, uh, the bullet, and so on and so forth. So, let's try to run the game. Actually, I'm really rusty, so I'm done with the presentation, and we're gonna do some gameplay with the original game. So, I was really happy to start the game, and to find just it is on Godot was a really great moment for me, like I said. So, maybe I will make a video explaining the code, okay, once I have uh, made a grasp of the code myself, and maybe I can make a video later on for this one. So, okay, this is... So, actually I'm using um, a PS2 controller with, um, with an adapter. Uh, the game was those games, so at the time I think you mostly you can use the keyboard to play with it. But um, thanks to Godot, I use um, a controller for that. And it was really moments of fun. That's it. 
Okay, you can you can notice that the number of Davis have have changed. Okay, using the um, the control is much easier. Although I found it really hard to jump. Ah, uh, that's it at the right place. And that's it. Um, let's find out which button has to shoot this one. Okay, let's shoot. Up. Okay. <laughs> right. So you can see that there are some bugs in the game, but nothing really uh, crazy. Nothing really um, bad. The game is really playable, actually. Okay, this is the real moment. Oh, like that. And you get the jetpack. Which button we use for the jetpack? Ah, this one. Okay, let's stop. Okay, stop, stop. Okay, how how it doesn't work? Okay, what are the controls for, for going? Okay, how can I fly? I'm using the uh, dear row case, but it doesn't work. Okay, it doesn't work. Why? I that. Okay, sorry. Stop. Okay. This is crazy. Why does it work? Okay, oh, I'm dead. I'm not going to the circle just to find out which control I use for the jetpack. Ah, you use the button. Okay, great, 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 great. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, I need the jetpack to go through the door. Okay, let's go. So I'm discovering with you guys, so um Okay. Mm, okay. Maybe I can fix this bug later on. Check out the bug and try to fix it. But for now, just gameplay. Oh I'm dead. <laughs> okay, I'm dead. Oh yeah, game over. <laughs> okay, I think you get it. Uh, it was really, it was a great moment for me to discover this game has been made with Godot, and I think made uh, maybe I can make um, some some videos on how uh, the, the the programmer or the developer made um, the code, and uh, maybe uh, like I say, I can make videos out of that. Um, coming back, how it uh, how the um, uh, the the guy uh, the name uh, pale uh, pale digger that's it yeah grab digger oh, I don't know okay <laughs> how the developer made the game okay maybe I can do a video about that ah you can find contributors you can the fund uh, you can have the fund uh, the contributors right here okay okay so uh, that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed the video um uh, please like subscribe if it's okay for you and um, see you in the next video okay.